Hello everyone, all the moms and dads and all the guardians. Um, I thought of making this small back to school video for you guys. So if you live in Canada and your child is starting JK or SK or you're just going to the next grade this year, just a friendly reminder video for you guys so you don't forget anything and you're emotionally, mentally and physically prepared for it. So yes, for the moms, if your child is going to JK this year, I know what you're feeling. I know you're nervous, you're excited, you want to buy the best things for your child, you want to do everything. But at the same time, you feel so sad that your child is going to be away from you for a while now. It is a milestone. Take it as a milestone. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Let that sink in that your child is going to start school now. Officially starting school. Very exciting moment for all the parents. So if you're first, if, you're, if your child is going to JK this year, if they're starting school this year, few things that I want you to remember. First things first. All emotions, all feelings are valid. You are going to go through a meltdown. Your child is going to go through a meltdown and that's okay. It's okay to feel stressed. It's okay to feel sad. The day you're going to drop your child, your child is going to cry. You're going to come back home and cry. And all of that is okay. Don't, don't stress over it. Don't worry. Don't think that, oh my God, all kids are adjusting well. It's just my child who's crying. You don't know what every child is coming from. So don't judge, don't judge your child, don't judge yourself as a parent that you're, you're just stressing over it so much and all mothers are so chill, they're so cool, but it's just me who's feeling all these emotions intensely. No, it happens with every mom. It's the first time your child is going away from you. All emotions are valid, all feelings are valid, all behaviors are not. So please don't cry in front of your child. Don't cry in front of your child and I'm telling you this, because when you cry in front of your child, your child feels is definitely something wrong. You have to be strong. You have to show your child that, no, it's okay. School is a part of life. It's a new milestone. You're going there. You're going to learn new things. So start talking about this with your child, at least like whatever days are left, like a week before at least. Start talking to your child about it. Tell them this is going to be your teacher. It's a new setup for them. So, you know, you have to prepare them accordingly. You have to tell them that, okay, there's going to be a new toilet there. There's going to be new friends there. People are going to come from different backgrounds. Um, your mommy won't be there to help you with everything there. So you have to be independent now. Talk it, talk it out with your child. This will ease out the pressure or the kind of anxiety they may feel on the first day. That's number one. Second thing, I know you might be stressed about what backpack you have to buy. I remember when my other one, when Aurelia started school, I think I um, I went mad like four months before I was shopping for her when all the back to school stuff was not even there at the stores. I was looking for backpacks on which backpack is. And I, I spoke to a random lady at Winners. My child is starting JK this year. What backpack should I buy? I was so confused because there's so many varieties and I don't know, like, do I need to buy a smaller one or a bigger one? And what is it going to be like? Like how many pockets would I need? I never thought of a backpack in so many ways the way I thought before uh, my older one started. Now I'm chill. Like when my younger one is going to school, I'm like, okay, take whatever you want to take. It's all right. I, I, I'm there to fix it. But okay, so because you're, we're approaching winters, so in Canada, winters are extreme, you know that. They might be carrying their snow pants and their, uh, you know, uh, winter jackets and, you know, their mittens and gloves and then hoodies and then caps, winter hats and then earmuffs, all of those things. So make sure that you buy slightly bigger, like don't buy a very tiny one, something that's of medium size because you will be taking, they'll be taking all of those things to school. Okay, so it, they, there should be space for that. Unless you are, I mean, usually they you put all those things in the cubby. So when you take the snow pants and the jacket and whatever you're sending your child with, all of those things, they stay in the cubby for a while. So don't think that you have to send it every day. But there'll be a day when you'll be sending this. So you might be, then you'll have to give, you know, a second bag for all those things. So maybe a medium size where they can bring in clothes and take clothes. You, the, your child will be taking extra clothes to school. So make sure that there's room for those extra clothes in the backpack. There's room for indoor shoes. Your child will be carrying indoor shoes. So have that checklist ready. There's, they're going to be indoor shoes. They're going to be uh, extra clothes in case of accidents. And there's going to be uh, you know space in your backpack so that they can carry the 
snow pants keep the snow pants ready keep the winter jacket winter coats ready uh the the mittens and the gloves are absolutely important your winter boots winter boots need to be ready so keep those things ready for the coming winter because you never know october and you might just need them so <laughs> keep those things ready for your child apart from that so so you know maybe buy a medium sized bag so that that would fit all of that in labeling very important make sure that you label the snow pants you label the winter jacket you label the, label the gloves label everything that your child will be taking in a good water bottle so important make sure it's a steel one that's what i give because um, they're going to the, the plastic water bottle it's going to get messed like they're going to break it in the second day itself like my daughter has broken two steel water bottles believe that like you know there are dents in the water bottles they i don't know how she's going to play you, you never know how your child is going to play there so <laughs> make sure that you have sturdy steel water bottles where, uh, which you know they're they're comfortable with so don't buy a new water bottle and give it to them on the first day familiarize your child with those water bottles of things they're going to carry show them the backpack look we've bought this backpack for you this is these are the pockets here this is this, these are the stuff that you're going to put in your backpack here's a water bottle your new water bottle you want to put on stickers there label the water bottle please very important you don't want your child to you know misplace their water bottle and then you know they might be just roaming around thirsty kids at this age are not able to express if they're thirsty so tell them tell them keep telling them drink your water drink your water drink your water and label your bottles that goes aside so we we done with backpack we have done with the things that the child has to carry we done with the water bottle stuff clothes apparently your child is going to wear you know because we don't have uniforms here your child is going to actually uh, have some comfort clothes which eventually turns into their uniform so there'll be a set of clothes that they will be uh, they would want to repeat every week so don't stress on buying the most fashionable clothes for your child it's you know when they come back they don't it's it's all ruined so please buy clothes which are comfortable for your child good t-shirts you can probably buy from H&M and Zara and i personally don't like children's place i don't know i don't like the quality of the clothes there uh, oshkosh is good carter is good you can buy clothes from those brands and uh, sometimes even walmart is okay good quality shoes indoor and outdoor so have those comfortable things already ready for your child and familiarize your child these are the in your new set of clothes you'll be wearing for school that way they know these are school clothes these are you know home pajamas these are party clothes just buy for kid those things for them because it's a milestone it's a new thing they're going into it's a new system they're fitting in now okay third thing when like all of these checklists of course are okay i mean you can find them on google there's so many people telling you about this one thing that people won't prepare you for are the meltdowns your child is going to have when they come back home don't expect your child to come back home all happy oh mommy i had a great day etc etc no your child is going to have big emotions big feelings they would come back howling and crying and yelling and laying on the floor it's going to be one of those meltdowns it can happen over like over the weeks so this is going to happen prepare yourself for it because and, and and the reason they're going to have such crazy meltdowns is because they're going to be in a school set up for 7 hours straight and that's not easy they've never been away from you even if they've been into daycare they haven't been into a school set up school set up is very different from a daycare set up a daycare for, in a, within a daycare you are you have caretakers they're going to care for you when you're going to school you're all by yourself so yes teachers are great but then your kids need to learn how to be independent they're going to be new toilets they're going to be new kids kids from different cultures teachers are going to be different so when they come back they've been uh, at a place where they haven't really expressed themselves so they've been holding on to a lot of emotions when they're at school when they come back you your house is the safe space for them they are going to express and vent everything out at you they're going to cry i'm telling you it's going to be it's going to be a one one of those kinds you know one of those meltdowns so be prepared for it and it's okay come for them hug them be with them let them vent out so they feel safe again they know this is home and that's cool 
it's very important for you to differentiate these two setups for them when they come home keep the snacks ready keep the food ready make sure snacks and food i mean if you're going to pick up your child maybe carry a box of snack or whatever their favorite fruit or whatever you want to carry for them they can eat in the car for after the after pickup or if you're walking your uh, child to back home you can probably carry a banana or whatever they can you know eat and keep walking it's very important because they are hungry they won't be eating the way they eat at home okay the lunch box might just come back as you send it's all right all of that is okay because it takes a while for the child for a child is a little human i mean i understand when you go to a different setup you so as adults we get um we get so anxious because everyone's new around us so imagine for a 4 year old or 5 year old it's going to be so tough they are looking around they're seeing so many people this this seeing new teachers is seeing a new setup the new chairs and tables and everything's new they won't be so comfortable eating food the first day so it's all right if the lunch box comes home it's okay for the first few days eventually you will start telling your child that okay this is food if you come back hungry see this is how you feel finish your food all of those things that you want to commit to your child when they come home make sure that their comfort food this comfort snacks whatever they like you have them ready you really need to give those things to your child yeah food that brings me to the very important topic food so those fancy lunch box ideas that you see on instagram please let them stay at instagram it don't don't stress over lunch box so much i'm telling you it's it's all oh my god it is so crazy so when orelia started my elder one when, they, when she started school i was stressing over what am i going to give her for food what is what is she going to take for lunch oh my god i'm seeing all these instagram moms sending those love notes and sending those beautifully curated sandwiches for their kids but my child doesn't eat this don't stress it's okay give them rice or pasta or whatever you know the breads or whatever they eat make sure that you have lunch you have am snack and you have pm snack these three things are very important am snack lunch and pm snack and let your child know the difference between them when i send even today like after a year and two jk like when when i give food to my daughter i tell her this is your food this is your lunch and here's the snack box so this this is the snack here's the juice here's a water bottle here's yogurt I tell her everything so that she knows when she goes and she opens her backpack she knows this is my food. This is for my lunch and this is for my snack. So that at that moment the child is not confused. Oh my god, there's so much what am I going to eat? You're sending a lot for a child. It becomes very uh, the child gets very stressed over seeing so many things, so many options. What, what what am I going to have at what time? I don't know. Am I going to eat everything at the same time? Because till now you've been giving your child, "Hey, it's just snack time. Here's your snack." It's your lunch time. Here's your meal. It's not going to happen this way. They have to decide. This is my meal, and this is my snack. So make sure that you tell your child about this. Don't let it be. Let it all be a surprise for them. Okay, that's about the meals. And uh, so don't stress about those Instagram, you know, lunchbox ideas. Make sure that you give food or snacks that everyone else is also bringing in the school. Unpopular opinion. a lot of moms feel that i want to give the healthiest food to my child and then you know then they're not eating it it's okay please give the food that they can that you know they see all other people all other kids also having so there was a time when i would send some indian food to my child and third day she came back and she said mommy i don't want to take this nobody brings this in school so your child is actually going through a lot of emotions your child is trying to fit in that they, they they want to be a part of the group they are learning that skill so if at this moment you give them the food that you eat at home which is your cultural food and you want them to realize that okay no this is the food that you want to that you know that's healthy and you should have not going to work okay and then thinking that you have to give everything sorry you have to give everything healthy to your kids you know all the healthy snacks things that they cannot uh, they do not see everyone else having in school can have a different impact on your child so uh maybe buy those you know those little uh, so you, you've got those boxes of oreo and then uh, a hoy cookies and all of those cookies and those are small uh kid size packs school uh for, for th- that's actually uh made for for kids going to school so that they can carry one small pack in there 
give them juice whatever juice they like apple juice or whatever they like or a juice so many you know get those packs like 12 pack uh the small ones and then get those uh, yogurts so maybe you can get the yogurt bottle or you can get yogurt cups and then you know give that to your child that that can be uh, taken as a snack and then what else let me think those are those are the basic snacks that you can give don't give anything peanut by the way a lot of things have you know it, it should have written somewhere that it has peanut or it doesn't have it may contain nuts so make sure that you're not giving anything that has nuts or could contain nuts and it's not just for your child the point is there are other kids also there so if by mistake there is another child who is allergic to nuts and they uh, somehow because they're all having lunch together and they somehow take or eat something that your child has got for lunch which has nuts in them and the other child is allergic so it could be a disaster for them so the school um, absolutely has a no nut policy at least Toronto district school board has um, I mean those are the basic things that you can give you can give them rice and pasta and sandwiches make the basic ones don't stress I mean you, you can do that maybe for two days three days two weeks a month after that you'll be like oh my god why am I cutting all the sandwiches in those weird shapes why can't my child eat a normal sandwich so give them fruit very important those are the kinds of snacks that you can actually give to your child and uh, i think they should be okay with those <laughs> okay so to conclude this and to end this all i want to tell you is don't stress too much uh potty train your child oh my god before concluding i'm so sorry before concluding potty train your child and that could be a very um, crucial step here because you have to potty train your child, you have just potty trained your child at home and now the child is going to use another washroom. So that's another another toilet that they're going to. Even as adults, I I feel that we are most comfortable when we are when we go to our own, you know, the toilet that's in our own house. So for the child also, it's very difficult to actually uh, do their business in some other toilet, which is in the school and everyone else is using it. So f let the child know that okay there'll be there's going to be another toilet that you'll be sitting on and if you need to pee or if you need to poo you'll be going there tell them no accidents if you have an accident please tell your teacher i've sent you another set of clothes let them know all this it's not that oh i'm the mom i'm doing this but the child doesn't know what the mom is doing so tell the child that this is this these are the professions that mommy has done for you and uh, tell them that they have to always close the door that's something that i made sure that my daughter knows if she's doing her business because before that when they're at home they usually don't close the door they don't they don't shut the door a lot of times you, the, your child is going with you to the washroom so it's a very different story at home so let them know that when they are in uh in in a school setup and they're going to the toilet please close the door keep the door shut at all times when you're doing your business and no I keep reiterating this, these things to my daughter a lot that nobody sees your bum. You don't show your bum to anybody. Nobody sees, sees your underwear. Have the That just brings me to the underwear thing. Have those sets ready. Underwear for your kids. And uh, yeah, give them, give, let them know the diaper is only maybe for nighttime and you're not going to wear a diaper now. So make sure that they are toilet trained properly and they know that there's going to be a new toilet now. That way you can just tell them because see now the child is going to have a school thing and a home thing. So they, they, they're having two things in their head. So they're a different personality when they're in school and they're a different personality when they're at home. Same goes with us as adults at office, at work. We're a different personality when we're at home with our family. We're a different personality. Accept it. Don't say to your child, like, oh my God, when you're at school, you're fine. The moment you come home, you start crying. No, that's a safe place. They need to vent out okay so be gentle with your child love your child give them lots of hugs and cuddles and kisses lay down with your child in bed the moment they come back home make sure to change their clothes when they come back home because they're going to carry a lot of germs so make sure that you change their clothes remove their socks they wash their hands they get into pajamas then they have cuddle you and then they get into the bed so those are the things that uh, i hope these things they kind of you know help you Prepare yourself for the first day of school for your child and all the best to all the new moms. I think we need the most support kids. Yes, of course, you're doing everything for the kids when nobody's doing anything for the mommy. So mommy, lots and lots and lots of hugs and lots and lots of uh, support to you all who whose kids are starting school this year. We are in this together. And if you have any further questions, please 
put your questions in the comments below and i would love to answer uh, i've done a pretty pretty okay job i would say <laughs> a pretty good job in in uh, making my child school ready so yeah all the best stay safe stay healthy love your child and love your life bye bye